Hello and welcome. Uh, as you can probably tell from the title of the video, we are uh, heading to the tallest waterfall in Wales. Uh, we've just had a night in a place called Shrop Shropshire. I think that's how you say it. Shropshire. Uh, it's a beautiful place. I didn't even know it existed. Uh, it's not so far from Birmingham and it's just sort of on the border of Wales. Uh, it's stunning, as you can probably tell. On a sunny day, I could imagine that there'd be some really nice views here. Uh, we had, we've just had a night there. I've just done it to sort of get my head screwed on. You sometimes just need a night around nature, just, you know, feel right. Um, I just disattached myself from my mobile phone for a night. I just turned it off and just had some time to myself uh, before uh, starting my little expedition. So we're just heading back to the car. Uh, it's probably about another half an hour walk. We aren't too far away from the car, maybe an hour in, in total. And my phone's about to die, so I'm, I will see you when we get there. We're back to the car, and I've just had some, some grapes and a double dacker. And look how tiny this grape is. It's tiny. It's so cute. It is just so stunning. I uh, I were not really expecting it to be as, as big as it is. It's different seeing it in person as well. It's in a couple of photos, but geez, it is beautiful. Um, we're gonna try and get to the top and walk round and have a, have a little bit of a look from up there. Um, there's quite a few people here, it's not a bad time. I tried uh, getting here early, but I ended up sleeping a little bit too long. Um, and yeah, there's people that are swimming in it. So I'm gonna go to the top and then hopefully when I come back down, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to jump in myself. So I've been trying to find a way around and I've been walking for a bit now and I'm quite high up. I uh, can't really tell but I'm quite high up and I just can't seem to find uh, a way to the top. I could see a, a really long way around the other way which would probably take a few hours just to get to the top so I thought I'd try this way, this risky route and I'm about to try and climb up this rock face here to try and get to the top but I don't know if, it, if it's too promising. Not going to push anything too much if i uh if i can't get up here i'll probably just end up going back down and jumping in and we'll we'll see where it takes us but yeah it's just so annoying i wish there were a, an easy route to the top i don't think it's um something that maybe people do all of the time i think they just come to the bottom and sort of check it out and then maybe head off home So I can see the entrance to the car park down there. We are high up over here, I'm not gonna lie. We are very high up. I don't even know if we're gonna get to the top, but it's funny either way. We made it. We, I really don't know how we did it. We just started scrambling up some rocks and it was quite challenging, I'll be honest with you. We were at sort of quite, quite a climb, um, but I, I didn't expect it to be just here. I thought I had quite a lot, a lot further to go and now we're just, Dangling over its side, you know how it is, it's got to be done. And it is, it's just so stunning. I'm just so pleased that I've come here. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Look how little the people are. Well, if you want to know something amusing, I spent 
a hell of a long time making my own way up rock climbing really dangerous um i got to the top and there were a lot of people there old, old people there so i'm thinking how have you got up here I ended up talking to him and i'm just walking down the, the 10 15 minute walk path easy steps up to the top if i'd have just gone the other way i'd have just been able to cruise my way up <laughs> I really like this guy. It's proper cool. I can't believe it. So, one of his sheep just ran off. He were herding them all into the farm. So, the dog, him, and all of the sheep went into the farm. And he's like, there's one run off. So, I'm like, oh, shit. okay, I'll run and go, I'll go get it. And I just like, literally, I pulled him over my car in front of the sheep. Like, I drove around the sheep. Pulled in front of him at the front of the sheep and like herded it back. So I had to run, run back and herded the sheep and I sort of just like herded it towards him. It didn't want to go into the farm. I don't know. And yeah, I've just herded his sheep. I just, I just don't know what's going on. I've literally just herded his sheep into a farm. I don't know what's going on. All right, we're well, fun though. The original plan was to camp somewhere near the waterfall, you know, take all my stuff there and camp there. But it's just one really long road. It's like a fair few miles and it's it's quite a tight road. There's like no uh, other roads nearby. There's no laybys, there's nothing. Uh, so we're gonna, you know, pull in there and, you know, camp near the waterfall uh, somewhere around there for, for the night. But I don't think it's gonna be possible. Um, so we're gonna have to try and find somewhere else. I need fuel. Uh, there's a lake nearby. It's quite a big lake. So what I'm thinking of is uh, going to get some fuel just near there and then trying to set up around the lake. Hopefully it's uh, some nice views. So this is the petrol station that I thought I was going to. This is it, just this one pump. When I typed in petrol station, um, this isn't really what came to mind. Um, but I've just nipped into the shop and there's a lovely lady there that I've just ended up speaking to. She, it's not self-service either, she has to come and do it for you. So you end up sort of chatting and yeah, I just put 20 quid in because it's like over two pound. It's like two pound, five pence per litre, which is absolutely crazy. She's literally just got that pump and the pump before it was, it had, it was one of the wind pumps. You had a crank on it. So you had to wind the fuel. So you have to wind the fuel. So even if the electrics went out, you could still get fuel, which is kind of cool, but it's, it sort of shows the, the age of it. She explained that someone with, um, you know, vintage cars and they were doing a show, they come and bought it off of her. So they take it down to Cornwall and do all the shows and the pump sort of goes with all the cars. So it sort of matches, which I thought were quite interesting. I've also just picked up some, some naughty scram. Got some Cheetos, some Rollos and some Kiplings.
the wild hair is that. Can't believe how abandoned this place is. All of the roots are just completely overgrown. It gives it like a really weird feeling. Like this was once a road. And it's just sort of really weird. Like this is where this leaded to. Just this hole. Like it doesn't go anywhere further. It just seems so strange. So I'm about to go through this tiny little hole. Well, this is just like a dead end. Everywhere is just fully, fully overgrown. Like there's no pathway. I'm just fighting my way on hands and knees, just getting through here. And I think I'm gonna have to turn back and try and get into the woods. I thought I'd just check this way out, but it looks like I'm gonna have to go into the woods and try and find a spot there. <sighs> Proper struggling here. Can't find a, even any flat ground. It's just all overgrown. This is forestation. So all the trees are really close together. And just look at it, you have to crouch crouch through it all there's like two dead carcasses of sheep just here it's not I don't feel like a very nice place and especially with it just being all so abandoned it just doesn't give a good feel off so I'm gonna try and get on a track and just try and make my way somewhere else but we're quite far uh, away from sort of the car and uh, public and safety we just feel <coughs> feel like a little bit lost in the middle of nowhere it's all part of it, it's, it's good fun, but I'm kind of looking forward to finding a, a spot now. I haven't any idea where I'm going. Really, really big struggle to try and find a spot. I've sort of walked for, for hours now. I'm gonna keep going for a bit more, and I, can know, I roughly know where I am now. I've sort of got back on these roads. Um, and if if I keep if I can't find anywhere within the next sort of hour or so, I'm gonna try and loop back around to the car and in a worst case I'll just have to sleep in a car. Um but hopefully we find somewhere decent enough to camp. This is the biggest struggle I've had trying to find a spot to camp. While camping isn't always fun, you do have the hiccups and you have to try and push yourself. Uh, when the hard challenges come and I've, I've double backed um, down to the res. I'm, on, I'm just walking on a road and I'm still lost. I'll be honest with you, I'm still very lost. Um, I've been walking for hours and it's probably been about five hours maybe. So I'm just trying to follow this road round. I'm just, as I say, next to res, next to the lake. So hopefully this road just takes me round and I can get back to, towards the car. We'll see. I've just got a bit of service, so I've not had any service, so I can't check where I am uh, to see which was the best way to get back uh, to the car or, yeah, back round. Um, I've literally just had a look and the way that I were going was, like, going to take, it was so much longer than just going, following the res back round. So I don't like to go back on myself usually and I'm not going exactly back on myself. I'm just following the res back round to somewhere I should know because going the other way might take another God knows how long. It's, it's absolutely massive. I've been walking for hours and I've just not found anywhere. It's just so frustrating. So I think it's gonna be a car job tonight. I've never camped in the car, so it's gonna be a first. Oh, you don't know how happy I am to see you. I am knackered. It feels so good to just sit down for a few minutes. Jesus Christ. I'm a little bit disappointed we couldn't find anywhere to camp tonight. That being said, it's raining and it doesn't look like it's going to stop. So maybe uh, the fact that we couldn't find a spot is sort of, it's fallen into to place that we camp in the car and we stay dry. We have walked for hours today. It's some of the most strenuous walking I've done for a long time. Today's been absolutely immense, like seeing that waterfall and just do, like taking my own route up, doing a bit of rock climbing. It felt so rewarding because I, I like taking my own routes up anyway, but like 
the part that I climbed up, I just, I didn't, I, I was actually rock climbing. I had no weight in my bag because I took it all out. So I was actually rock climbing my way up and I wish I could have got some content of that, but it would just, I can't record while I were doing it. Um, but it was so fun. I really enjoyed today. Uh, I've not got much to do now. It's sort of like half seven. I'm just going to cook up some food, uh, chill out for the night and try and get some sleep and in the car, which is kind of strange. I just wanted to say thank you if you've watched the video. It's also new to me and it feels quite unnatural and it feels like a bit of a struggle. I don't know if whatever I'm recording is going to be enjoyable for you guys to watch. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing. It's all part of the process though and I understand that. But I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I sort of took this massive risk and this massive leap and I'm really enjoying uh, doing it and YouTube is sort of just an extension of that. I don't want it to govern what I do in the day and like I don't want to be having to worry about making videos and like doing fun things. I just want to to do whatever I'm doing and like like all my trips and stuff and then it'd be an extension of me so I just record that and journal it and if anybody wants to watch it they can. And obviously I'm going to try and make the videos uh, as, as good as I can and, and create interesting content but it's more it's more for me really it's more just my way of of expressing myself and i would just want to like i want to spread as much positivity as i can youtube for me has acted as a way to like if i've had a rough day and you can just distance yourself from the world watch some youtube and you you come you fully submerged in the content that the person's creating and that helps a lot of people including myself so not only these videos, I don't, I don't think these are, are that, but I do want to do some videos in the future where it's more talkative and more expressive of, of me and what I'm doing and how I feel in my life. And hopefully those can act as, as some positive sort of strains for, for people uh, to watch. I, I, I don't know if they will, but that's the rough direction with it all. Right guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.